Was you talking about what you think is a red flag in founders? And it is basically saying no to applying to YC is a red flag, especially when they say, I don't think it's worth it. And you said that there's four types of four types of founders. Those who went through YC, those who didn't get accepted, those who raised twenty million dollars themselves and non VC companies. So can you please elaborate a little bit more on it? Great topic. So here's the interesting thing that I actually uh, spoke yesterday to a founder who has a company that already raised something like $10 million at something like close to hundred million valuation. And, uh, uh, he has, I think 50 people team and he applied to Y Combinator again right now. And he said that he's ready to give up 7% of equity to go through YC, even though his company is like worth way more than typical YC company. Right. And I, and I'm asking why, because in the end it's the same answer as all people who benefit from YC is that YC gives you a completely different network and visibility and support than anywhere else, right? So I'm not affiliated with YC in any way, but I think that uh, not applying to YC to me shows that founders are either greedy because they don't want to even consider parting with 7% of equity or they are not... uh, humble enough because they think that they know everything and they have enough connections and YC will not help them or they just didn't do their homework and they don't understand the value of YC or they don't think in terms of optionality because one yes. another important angle that I tried to drive into that post that applying to YC costs nothing apart your time Apply- right. before you get accepted and you take an offer you don't need to give up equity to apply, you don't need to give up equity. Yeah. To apply, you need to give up one hour of your time to fill the form, right? And the point is that, for especially for early stage startups, it's such an obvious trade-off because you, you give up one hour of your time to fill the form. During filling the form, you improve your positioning because the form is really good. You basically, uh, you know, improve how you can talk about your startup. Then... You can tell everybody starting next day that you applied to YC. Yep. And then for a month or two, you have a better fundraising positioning with early stage VCs because you will now have a potential to be a YC company. That's great to close a couple, you know, half a, half a million on saves or something. While then you will go, maybe, maybe you will get accepted to get the interviews. Again, that's just a couple hours of your time. That's the cost. That's it. There is no equity cost to go through interviews. These interviews will be really peppered with really interesting questions that will help you understand how VCs go, how VCs accept you. And then you might get an offer. By the way, chances of you getting an offer are fairly low, but um, it's even worth it even if you don't get an offer. But if you get an offer, now you have two situations, or two options, both great. One option, yes. you can decline an offer and then tell everybody that you were accepted to YC and decided not to take it. So, but you were good enough to be accepted to YC. It's like almost like I was accepted to Harvard, but decided yeah, not to. But I said no, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, it costs nothing. It costs nothing to accept, to decline YC offer. There's no equity cost. The only cost of time. And now you have got yourself a badge of company good enough for YC. That's great. That's great to raise pre-seed and seed. Or even better that I would suggest is accept an offer from YC, lose 7%, and then suddenly you get elevated or you get into this very small club of companies that first of all are, it's amazing network. Like every YC company is connected to every YC company and they can sell to each other. They can help each other. They it's it's a completely different network. It's it's better than like you know Harvard alums, Stanford alums, or anything yeah. like that. And second, you will get completely on the radar of all VCs, like tier one, tier two, all of them, right? Yes. The company that where and we going back to what we discussed in the very beginning of this call that connections are everything. By giving seven percent to YC, you'll get the best connections ever, right? Yes. You don't need me or anybody else to introduce you to Sequoia or General Catalyst or anybody else, they will come and want to talk to you yourself, right? And maybe they will invest a, a you know, a exploration check. Like General Catalyst, I think, invests in like 30 or 40 companies each batch, a small check, and, and they will start, you know, it's and yeah. having a, 
having a font like this with a small check on your cap table will elevate. It's just like so obviously great from connections and it only cost us 7%. The, the thing <laughs> is... When, when? <laughs> yeah, it's like, yes, it's, and especially it's, what is important for me is like why I put this, maybe not VC compatible. Because the founders that are VC compatible, the founders that want to raise VCs, they don't think in terms of how big their own piece of the pie is. They think in how big the pie is. Yeah. And yes, by giving 7% to YC, you you lose, uh, you decline, do you, um, you lower your own share of the pie, but your pie gets 10 times bigger. Yes. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I was looking at all the comments and I started laughing just because it, it, it's a win win for you to go to YC. If you get accepted, you get the networks, you talk about connections and how important connections are and the network is earlier. And also, too, this week was New York Tech Week. The smartest guy I talked to. He graduated from the YC, I think, uh, summer 19. And the way he could just articulate everything and articulate the consumer's problems and how nuanced he was and he understood the mission. Like, you could tell that's from just going to YC and understanding kind of this is what the bar is, right? It raises the expectation. It raises the bar because you're in a class with everyone else that's trying to get to that next level. So, yeah. And this is actually why I like investing in XYC founders. So... Because YC doesn't guarantee that your startup will not fail, but it is just such a great education. And now, yes. you know, I see XYC founders in my uh, pipeline with their new startup. And now it may be even, they shouldn't even go through the YC again with the new startup because they already have the connections, but they also have the lessons, they have the skills, yes. right? So, and now they are b way better prospects for me, right? So, yep. And you don't have to teach them, right? They already know that stuff. They already learned that yeah. stuff. But and I, I know, I I don't th I don't think I can teach them, right? So there is a right. lot of things that I can teach them. But YC has amazing partner that can teach other things that I can do, right? So. Yeah.